Hello, I'm Dr. Matthew Jones, the Virginia Tiered Systems of Support Specialist for the Henrico County Public Schools. To boost the understanding and importance of the Virginia Tiered System of Supports, VTSS for short, we are introducing a series titled, Because It Matters, PBIS Spotlight. During these segments, we will highlight the successes of PBIS teams throughout Henrico County Public Schools in an effort to bring more awareness to the positive impact that they are witnessing through the implementation of this framework. Additionally, we simply want to say thank you and great job to schools who are setting the standard for PBIS here within the division. Our first Because It Matters PBIS Spotlight is Fairfield Middle School. Let's take a look and listen to what the Falcons are experiencing on their campus. Good morning, everyone. The ride store is open. Coach, with your ticket. Perfect. Look at you. Yes. PBIS is the foundation of all the goals that we've set here at Fairfield for this year. So our theme, as I've said many times, is planting seeds for success. And those seeds are made up of students, staff, community, and community partners. Here at Fairfield Middle School, everyone rises to the occasion. Two waters, please. We like to rise and R is for responsible, I is for innovative, S is for supportive, and E is for excellent. Everybody treats people with respect and that they treat their teachers and the students the way they would like to be treated. Students and staff, we do a lot. We do a lot. For staff, I'll start there. Every other Friday, we have a food truck that comes on campus because we want our teachers to, you know, have that their lunchtime to get something delicious to eat. Um, so we have food trucks. We're booked actually through the all through the year for food trucks. We also do popcorn on some Fridays. Every month, we have spirit days. One of the big ways that we've implemented this year particularly is RISE tickets. So they are color-coded per grade. Um, students earn them for being um, responsible, innovative, supportive, and excellent in their classrooms. Great. What you want, baby? Okay. A candy bar? All right, go right over there and pick your candy bar. I can take them out You want a bathroom? In addition to rise tickets, we shout, we shout them out. We recognize everyone that does the right thing. Recently, I received like five rise bucks for just helping a student out with his work. He was struggling with some math problems, so I went over there and helped him out. Here at Fairfield, we get a lot of praise, and I'm glad that we get rewards because it really lets us know that we're pre that we're appreciative for um, meeting those expectations. Thank you. So what works with PBIS at Fairfield Middle School is SWISS. It is the data house for PBIS. And we use the data that we analyze from SWISS to decide, hey, and we analyze it and say, hey, um, this seems to be a problem area during transitions. What can we do differently with that? I think PBIS works, one, because of the buy-in. The buy-in of the parents, the buy-in of the faculty and staff, and the buy-in of the students. Because again, if the teachers buy into it, which they did, we got their input of what we should have in the store, we got their input on what we should award um, bucks for, and then they've also donated things to the stores to the store. So I think it's all about the buy-in. We got input from all our stakeholders and we got the buy-in and that's why it's working. We are truly here to educate the whole child. It's not just one certain group of kids. It's, you know, wanting to recognize the students that are doing really, really well and they're coming to school on time. They're showing those rise expectations and then maybe those students that never thought that they could reach those expectations or get rewards for doing that. And so showing them that it is possible is also been really beneficial for us. Our students are making decisions again to do the right things, to make better choices. Kids are kids. They're not always going to make the best choices because they're growing. And, and once they, they make a bad choice and we sit down and we can kind of, we can talk about it, they recognize, yes, 
I should have done this differently. And the one thing that touches my heart is when a student says, Ms. Parker, can I apologize to, it could be a faculty member, can I apologize to the student? We've seen a huge change in many of our eighth graders with getting to class on time, stepping up to be leaders. Our seventh graders that were a little immature last year, they're starting to come up and say, hey, look at my grades this year. Look at the bucks I've earned. What can I do to get bucks? And the sixth graders, seven weeks in the school, they're finding their way, but they're finding that by them doing the right thing, they've stopped running. They're not yelling as much during transition. I think the best thing about Fairfield is definitely the people. They're supportive and they help you out a lot, a lot. The teachers and students, I like my teachers because, you know, every day is not a good day, but coming to school cheers me up, getting my work done, and the teachers bring me up and make the work fun and school fun, so I'll have to say the teachers. The people, because without the people it's just a place and it's a different experience here. It, we're more connected, we're more in tune with each other, we understand each other, and it's just a great place to be. The main thing that I really push with our students and staff is to be respectful. That you have to give respect in order to get respect. And I always say to the students, speak to the teachers the way you would speak to your parents or your grandparents. Never do anything to our teachers or in front of our teachers that you wouldn't do with your parents and to our teachers. Before you address a student, count to five, count to 10, and just always ask yourself the question, would you want someone to speak to or to treat your child that way?